When the engine came back from France, she needed a complete overhaul, and so she was taken to Ruston's and worked on by the apprentices there uh, under the guidance of Ray Hooley. At Lincoln, she was taken into the training department of Ruston Gas Turbines for a complete restoration. They were full of enthusiasm and lost no time in stripping the engine down so that the condition of all parts could be assessed. They had to decide what needed to be remade, repaired, or merely cleaned up. I don't think that the engine had been touched with a paintbrush during the 60 years she was in France. She was thick with muck and quite badly rusted. Throughout the restoration, we have tried to keep as near as possible to the original specification. We resisted the temptation to overdo the painting. Many restored traction engines are decorated like showman's engines. But agricultural traction engines, such as ours, have the minimum of frills. When she came to the museum, she was pretty well complete, um, as you see her now. The one thing that we added to her in, from her original condition were the rubber tyres. It was felt that because we wanted to use the engine on the road, it would help reduce the vibration for the engine. It would be better for the engine to have the rubber tyres and it would certainly be better for the people driving the engine to make the ride a little bit more comfortable. That's the most visible change. Otherwise, most of the alterations were internal because to keep the engine in good order, it's the internal things that tend to go, the boiler and the firebox and the smoke box and so on. My name's uh, Richard Baxter. I'm a, a accredited conservator uh, for Heritage Project Management. We're doing the conservation work on Sylvia at the moment, which mainly involves sort of stabilisation, make sure there's no sort of active corrosion. So we're taking out the suit, we're taking out the, the old oils that might be contaminated. Once those materials are sort of taken out, then we can sort of look at how we then protect the exposed uh, faces, the working components, make sure they're well lubricated and well sort of protected for the future. It's great working with someone like Sylvia, and Sylvia's got such a great history in terms of the work that she did in France, the, the way she was returned to Lincoln. And now it's great to see you know, that she's going to be preserved in her present condition uh, and be an integral part of the museum. It's very good again to see Sylvie back in the public eye. Just for so many years, this was England's hope and future, big lumps of metal like this. Traction engines are the things which are emotive. Everybody relates to them. You know, they're, they're good to watch. Lincoln was a centre of building traction engines, not just Ruston's, Clayton, Shuttleworth, Robies, uh, Foster's, all built traction engines and exported them worldwide. She's a great advert for the quality of Lincolnshire's engineering. She's a great advert for the dedication and commitment of Lincolnshire farmers. And I think people will enjoy seeing her and thinking about how she was used and perhaps reflecting on how farming has changed. It's much more impersonal. There aren't so many people involved. There's one man in a huge great combine doing the work of the dozens of people who would have been involved with threshing in the old days.